Hi everyone, this is Yana and I have another unboxing video to share today. This is like a Christmas present type of video, like type of package, so I'm really, really excited about it. I got a bunch of different tools and some products that I've been wanting to buy. So I am really excited to unbox the, the products and get started. Okay, let's dive right in. I have the box on the floor because it's too big to fit on my on my desk, so I'm just going to uh, grab the items and bring them uh, here and show you. So I got the Project Life uh, Fuse. Now there are two different kinds. There's the blue one, the regular Rear Memory Keepers Fuse, and then there's, there's the Project Life one. I picked the Project Life one simply because it's white. I kind of like the white color better. So this is uh, the reason behind my choice. Really excited to use this for my December Memories album from um, Gossamer Blue. I still need to finish a couple of my pages and I wanted to get the tools so that I can fuse the page protectors and make a couple of like custom page protectors for my album. And in case you haven't seen it, I, I've I've posted, I think, yeah, I think I've posted a couple of uh, a couple of my pages on my blog, and I'll have a link for you to check out. So that's that. Next, I have some glossy accents. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think this is like my first bottle of glossy accents. I've never had glossy accents before, but I've see, I've been seeing people use them uh, to add like little uh, cute accents onto a card, and I finally decided that it was time to get something to get some. So. Um, I'll be using that in my future card making. Okay, next I have this Distress Ink Storage Tin. I already have one, I think, or maybe two. No, one. Yeah, I already have one. In fact, it's here on my desk. So I have one for a couple of my Distress Ink Pads, but I have more. And I also have a small Simon Says Stamp um, ink cubes. So I want to have a nice and pretty way to store them. So I got the storage and I actually need two of them but maybe I'll get another one next time so that's that okay next I have Martha Stewart mini scoring board um, I used this one at a friend's house and I really liked how every time no matter like what size I picked I ended up having a perfectly scored card you know like I didn't have that tiny little imperfection like I do with my um, Zutter board, with my Zutter score doll. This is the one that I'm currently using. I'm actually also using it for like stamping because it has the cushion. I'm still gonna use it for the stamping, but for the scoring, I really prefer the Martha Stewart scoring board. And there's a, a scoring tool included with uh, with this. So, you know, it's a win-win. And whenever I try to shop for scrapbook supplies, I always try to get, you know, tools because tools, are the things that are going to last you a very long time and tools are always a great investment. So that's that. Okay, I'm running out of room here to put all of this stuff. Okay, I also got um, some glitter tape. Now I, I have this silver glitter um, tape. I, I, I think I got this one at Walmart and I've been using it a lot lately. Might have seen a couple of my projects with this tape. I also have this one from Darius. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this one came in one of my Simmons Stamp kits and I also love it, but I really wanted to get uh, identical tape in gold and in white, so I picked up those from American Crafts. Really excited, you know, they add just perfect little accents onto a card, you know, you can make add like a little border at the top. Let me just, you know, so say I have this background and I just want to go ahead and add like a little border over here or like run a couple, some, you know, some glitter tape along the side of the card. It really does create that nice accent for a project. Okay, so that's that. I also picked up a couple of foils and the reason I picked up the foils is because I bought a laminator machine and I'll get to that in a minute. It's still in the box. So I picked up a couple of foils. I picked gold obviously because I'm obsessed with gold. I like all things gold and I've been using a lot of gold mirror cardstock and I thought that it was time to try to use gold foil. So I have I picked up the big roll. This yeah this is the 12 inch Oh my god, by 120 inches, so it's a, you know, a pretty good amount. I think it's going to last me a long time. 
I also picked up a couple of mix packs. So this one is red and green. I know it's Christmassy, but I can still use red, use red for Valentine's Day cards, and then I can use green for like spring cards. So it's not just, you know, it's not just a holiday color combo. And if I still have some left by the time I get to, you know, say November, October next year, I'll be sure to use it for holiday cards. I also have this one and it's light pink and mint. Um, love mint. I also do love pink, so um, you know, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of excited to try these and see how they are going to look on, on my projects. These are smaller packs, um, so they're a little cheaper. I think these are like $5 and this one is like $10 for, for pack. So let's move on. Okay. Now I also got this one, this EK uh, Success Powder Tool. I've been using this one and I, I actually love it, but it's kind of like running low on powder. I can feel like that there's not, not a lot of powder left, so I thought it was time to uh, try this tool. Uh, originally when I purchased this one a couple of years ago, and I'm telling you I've, I've had this one for like three years probably, and you know, I can still use it for another year or so. So when I bought this one, I actually wanted to buy this one, but this tool was out of stock, so I got this one instead. Very happy with this one, but I'm excited to try the other, the other one as well. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, um, okay, I also have been wanting to get some glitter paper and I have more in the box, but I wanted to get like some individual sheets of gold and silver and I spotted this uh, Tim Holtz Ideology deco sheets. So there are eight sheets. I think they're five by seven inches. Yeah, five by seven inches, and they're eight sheets, so four of each. And you know, they're really nice. I, I like the colors, I like the texture. From what I can see, like right now, I haven't opened them yet, but oh, there's, there it is, yeah. I mean, I'm excited about these. I'm not sure how well they will die cut, but you can never have too much glitter, too, too many glitter sheets, so I'll be sure to use that for my card making. I also wanted to do some organizing in my stash. I wanted to organize my stamps and dies and I was running low on like stamp pockets. So I picked up these. These are clear bags, six uh, by seven and a half, six, six and three, four, three quarters by six and three quarters uh, bags and there's a hundred of them. I picked up, I picked those because of the recommendation from Jennifer McGuire from her uh, My Favorite Crafty Things videos. I was looking for, you know, a pocket to um, to be able to store my 6x6 cling stamps. I have a couple of uh, stamps like that from Hero Arts. So I'm gonna try to store them in this and see how that goes. I've never, I've never had any bags like that or any pockets of this size before. So excited to try these. Also picked up a couple more um, storage sleeves from, from Simon Says Stamp for my uh, regular stamp sets and for my die sets. These are the storage sleeves that I'm always using. I also have a bunch from, like a bunch smaller. I think they're like five by five inches from Simon and I'm, I'm, I'm using them for storing my smaller my smaller dies. But these, these are usually used for storing my stamp sets and my die sets. They're very convenient, very inexpensive. I used to buy identical storage sleeves from Avery L, but I think there's like 25 of them for $9. And if you, when you buy Simon's storage sleeves, you get like 50 storage sleeves for $10. So these are much cheaper. So I, I've switched to those and I think they're like identical. At least they look and feel identical to me. So I think that's a good deal. And like I said, there's 50 for about 10 bucks. Okay, now I got the laminator. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. I was debating about mink and this one. This one ended up being much cheaper, so I picked this one. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of laminating. I still need to buy uh, a laser printer to be able to print um, like images to laminate them. 
but I'm, I'm trying to go slow with the, uh, the whole lamination thing, so I picked this one up. And I've been wanting to get a laminator ever since I saw Becca Fikin's video on creating minked borders for your die cuts. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have a link to it. And uh, if you're into die cutting with Spellbinders dies, you are going to love that tutorial. And I'm telling you, you're going to want to buy a laminator for your projects. So excited to try this one. I'm gonna set it aside for now because it's too big and move on. Okay, I also have this one, two, three punch board from your memory keepers. Like I said, I'm always big on buying tools because tools are gonna last you forever. And your memory keepers punch boards are great tools. I mean, I've had, um, I've had like a, an envelope punch board a while ago and I really loved it. I mean, it is, easy to use, it is convenient, you have the instructions all written out for you, it's just punch, 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 you know, and you're done. And I, I've been trying to do, do like more 3D projects, you know, I like to do boxes, sometimes, like occasionally, and I really wanted to get something like uh, a punch board. Okay, I'm gonna open this later because it's making too much noise. So I picked the one, two, three punch board because it allows you to do the envelope, the bow and the box and I'm pretty sure that you know with a little bit of tweaking you should be able to do other things here as well so that's that okay another thing and this is almost the last one another thing that I have here is the 12 by 12 glitzy a glitter cardstock stack from die cuts with view it is magnificent paper I'm telling you I've had it in the past and it is gorgeous. I mean, you touch it and you want to just, I don't know, you want to pet it. It's so nice and it's so gorgeous and it's so beautiful. I wish they would have a pack like that was just with just gold and silver or maybe like gold, silver and like rose gold or something. I don't care much for like most of the colors here. I'll try to use them, but most, most of all, I'm excited about this gold, about this silver, very beautiful about this black, it's not true black, it's more of like a, a grayish black, but still very beautiful. Here's another gold in here. Okay, not sure if I like the purple, but you know, I can always try to make it work. There's this pink, like a hot pink. Okay, another purple pink color. Another gold, more like yellow gold. Okay, oh, there's like four sheets of this one, okay. More, um, kind of like a blue color and green and another green so like I said not sure if I'm gonna be using all of these but I really wanted to get like gold and silver and maybe black so that's that and finally I picked up this Simon says stamp like grid pad I'm hoping to be to use these for my videos because my cutting mat this one is from American Crafts I've had it for a couple like four months already and I keep getting it you know it keeps getting dirty and I hate when my cutting mat looks dirty in the videos so I'll be trying to use this and see how it fits and goes with my videos with my tutorials and things like that so you get like what this is is like a like a pad with grid paper and I think there are like 50 or 25 sheets in here I don't remember exactly and the idea is like if I'm working or if I'm filming a video, I can have a new sheet for every video so it stays nice and clean and I don't have a very messy surface. So this is it. This was my Christmas box from Simon Says Stamp. Really excited to go ahead and play with these goodies. In fact, I just got the box like 20 minutes ago and I, I wanted to go ahead and start using the punch board, but then I was like, no, nah, I gotta do the video first. So yeah, so I'm gonna turn off the camera uh, edit the video and go ahead and play with my new goodies and I wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and thanks for watching. Bye!